What is up guys, Alex here, back with another Madden 16 video, and today, the team of the year finally dropped. Finally, after so long, I have seen so many cards, you got the team of the week packs out, they have, contain one team of the year item, six gold or better players, including one guaranteed team of the week player, and four team items. So, they look really good, let's see how much they are, oh, whoops, wrong button. But I have a over a thousand packs opened on Mutt Rewards, so I do have two packs open for you guys. They have a 15 bundle with one Elite Team of the Year player and one Elite Team of the Week topper, and we have the three pack bundle that gives you three Team of the Year packs, one bundle topper that gives you two Team of the Year items. So we're open the two Team of the Year packs and open some Pro packs and see what we can get, and maybe we'll give you some tips on how to make coins. With the new promo drop. So here we go. Let's see, uh, let's see if these packs are pretty good. And see the new animation for the Team of the Year cards. I feel like they'd be gold. Like, I mean, not like that gold. Ooh. So they're going to be Elite. Patriots versus Broncos Game of the Year. Scott Chandler. Brent Selleck. Malcolm Floyd. Team of the Week. Rashad Jennings. Which week is this from? Is this from... Okay, so this is this week. Okay, cool. And Matt Ryan. So, guaranteed team of the week, six gold, five chances at gold, one one team of the week player, and then the collectible. So, not bad. Definitely, uh, on the point side, a little bit expensive. Coin side, definitely expensive. But, I feel like they could be really worth it in the long run. Not pulling any elites, though. And that's the only problem I see here. Last cards are team of the week, team of the year, Ga Giants versus Saints. So let's go open some pro packs and see if we can get some out of the pro packs. I wonder. I actually do wonder if you can get them out of pro packs. I figure you can. They're just really rare. We got a 72 overall James Hanna. And a Mike Adams. Oh, those packs, not too bad. I kind of want to buy the bundle, but I think I'll hold off for now and see. I've heard the market has crashed really bad, so I think we're going to go check that out too. We pulled a Donald Thomas and a Brandon McManus. Cool. But yes, I've heard the market crashed terribly. Absolutely terribly. Um, Most of the new cards that are out are anywhere from 93 to... Well, an all-pro pack? Cool. 93 to... Around, I think the highest one's 96 or 97 overall. So, we'll get we'll save the all pro pack for last. So, not exactly what everyone was expecting, but there are a couple good cards out. There's a 95 Richard Sherman, there's the 96 DeAndre Hopkins, along with the 95 Brandon Marshall, 95 Russell Wilson. I think there's a 96 Doug Martin, 96 or 95, maybe even 94. I know there's the Doug Martin. Another gold, Trey Wayans. And then we have um, a couple of defensive players. I know there's a Cam Chancellor. I think he's 96 or 97 overall. Geno Adkins, I think he's a 96. So we pull Sean Lee right there. I think we're going to pull one more pack and go look at some of the cards. Um... I don't know if there's any sets to get, like, Special Edition 99s or anything of that some sort. I don't think there are. We can always check them out. So, I'll meet you guys over there. Alright. So, guys, this is the Team of the Year set. You had 10 Game of the Year collectibles, specifically, each one. And you get one Elite Team of the Year player. So... Anybody, and they come out of packs on Monday morning on the 1st, so get them while you can. There's also the Team of the Year ex Collectible Exchange. You need any Team of the Year Collectible and an Elite Badge to get a different Team of the Year, co team of the year Collectible. And then there's a the Team of the Year Redemption, which uh, I don't think is new, but you put the, the you do all the solos for the Team of the Weeks every week, and you put it in there, and it gives you a free Team of the Year player. So let's go check out some of the players.
All right, we got some of the players. We got a 94 Dan Bailey, which kind of stuck out with only 95 kick power, so not too good. But this is the Geno Atkins that I saw. He's got the same picture as the Team of the Week card, uh, hero card, back from somewhere around Week 13, I think, somewhere close to there. And 82 speed, which is really good for a defensive tackle. 97 power move with a 93 block shed. Real, actually, a really, really good card. We've got Brian Bulaga. 97 pass block and 91 run block along with a 92 impact block and 90 strength. So not too bad on the right tackle. And then this is the card I have been eyeing since I got on the auction block. 97 overall Cam Chancellor. 93 speed, 100 hit power, 93 pursuit with an 87 zone. 87 tackle. I mean, his hit power and stuff is nice, but his cover stats could be a little better. But he's definitely a good user card. Definitely, for sure, for sure, for sure. Definitely a good user card. So, if you have a chance to pick him up, I think it would be a good pickup. Maybe for the right price, depending on, you know, we'll have to see how the market goes. we got the Jamie Collins. I think he'll probably have really good zone coverage. 89 speed, 92 hit power, 97 pursuit, 95 tackle. And what is his zone coverage? 76 catching. That's pretty good for a linebacker and he has 90 zone coverage so this dude is oh he's your dream linebacker i mean he can blitz he can you can put him back in coverage i mean he can do everything so definitely he'd be one of the ones main ones to pick up you also have aaron donald the second defensive tackle 84 speed 94 pursuit 93 Block shed, 93 tackle, 94 power move. Definitely a decent card with 95 strength too. Definitely a good budget compared to Geno Adkins and maybe some of the legend defensive tackles. We got Tyler Eifert, which is one of the lower costing ones. 89 speed, 96 spec catch, 95 catching, 93 catching traffic with a 91 release and 85 route running. So route running a little bit on the low, but everything else looks to be decent. Maybe for the price, he'd definitely be a good pickup. Johnny Hecker from the Rams, the punter. 98 kick power definitely would be one of the cards to pick up, in my opinion. I, if you have the coins to to splurge on one, I mean, it's just ridiculous. 98 kick power, 98 accuracy, I mean, wow. With a 72 speed, that's ridiculous. You have DeAndre Hopkins, who's... I haven't seen the stats yet, but I feel like he's going to be monstrous. 99 catching traffic, 98 release, 94 speed, 6'1", 96 route running, 98 catching with a 95 jump. What? This is a good card. Let's compare him to Brandon Marshall Team of the Week. And, I mean, he just completely demolishes him in every stat. Four better elusiveness, three better spec catch, one better release, two better catching, two better speed, one better jumping, same catch in traffic. So, I mean... And then just everything on Andre Reid, I mean, Andre Reid's still up there, but DeAndre Hopkins, for the price, I would have to say Brandon Marshall, but if you're going for best team, definitely on DeAndre Hopkins. We have Mike Ayupati, 97 strength, 97 run block, not, so, not really good pass block, so I don't know if I would pick him up for too much. I see he's already going for around 75,000, 90,000. So definitely think about it. And we have a couple other cards. We got the 95 Brandon Marshall we can compare to the 93 team of the week. So definitely an upgrade. Same catch in traffic. One better jumping. One better route running. One better release. One better spec catch. Two better looseness. Two better catching. And one better speed. For the price, I'd have to say team of the week. But for best overall, definitely Brandon Marshall. I've heard Doug Martin's one of the lowest ones, 94 overall. I mean, his card's not that bad. 96 Juke Moon, 94 speed, 5'9". Definitely can truck. He'd be a good catch. Uh, 97 catching. Wow. And 96 carrying. Definitely a good card to have with 84 strength. So I don't see him fumbling too much. Of course, there's always those accidents, but definitely not going to be fumbling 24-7. Here's the Richard Sherman. 99 zone coverage. Of course, Richard Sherman isn't the fastest type of guy. So definitely 93 speed. Be risky to put him back there against some of the receivers in the game now. But... With the 99 zone, 88 catching, with 94 man coverage, you might have to. It might be a good idea to do it. For the price, I'd wait see how the market goes. I think he's going to end up going down. 
Akeem Talib, I feel like this card's really good. 92 speed. Eh, alright. 96 zone coverage, 97 press. 97 press is going to be basically the main point on this card with 84 catching. That's another good one. Um, Joe Thomas, Marshall Yonda, and here's the Russell Wilson. We'll go ahead and compare him to Donovan McNabb, 95 overall. So he's faster by 5 points. Same awareness, better throw power by 2, but Donovan McNabb basically is better than all the throwing stacks except for on the run where Russ Wilson beats him by 4. But I mean, McNabb's got one better play action, two better deep, three better mid, and one better short. So it looks like I would, I honestly, in my opinion, I'd end up going with McNabb. He, he's uh, definitely a little cheaper. He's got three better carrying along with uh, 11 better strength, so he's not going to fumble as much. But being a quarterback, if you take a hit, there's always that chance. You have, I mean, all these hidden stats, ball carry vision, definitely Russell Wilson. Spin moves, the juke moves, elusiveness, basically. Russell Wilson's going to have. So, I mean, that's, they're both not bad cards, though. So. But other than that, guys, that's been the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to go ahead and open this all pro pack, and I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm hoping to bring a How to Make Coins video later. How to Make Coins during this promo, and what you can do to make coins in general. A silver badge. DeMarcus Ware and Miles Austin, our last gold is going to be... Oh, we're going to actually pull an elite T.Y. Hilton. He's not going for too much, but definitely better than pulling any gold most of the gold in the game so we put three golds along with an elite so that's not too bad but that's been the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed like comment subscribe and until next time i'm out